Hello everyone, if you're new here, this is a series of videos where I talk about some Japanese trivia and nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of the episode of an anime. In this case, the 18th episode of Spy Family. Enjoy! A bit of trivia about the origin of an expression in Japanese to say that something is enough or sufficient. Jubun is written as ten and parts, giving the image of something divided in ten and having all ten of them to say that we have enough. What Lloyd uses in that scene is a variant of that, Junibun, literally 12 parts, and is similar as saying that we have 12 parts of the 10 needed, or in other words, 120%, so it's more than enough. Lloyd is basically saying that it's 120% possible for Anya to get 8 bolt this semester. Another play on words that got translated very nicely with knowledge is power to knowledge is power. What Yuri said in Japanese was chi wa chikara, which means the same, knowledge is power. But Anya understood chi wa wa jikara, adding a wa to make it into chi wa wa power. The relation between the nickname of the two spies can also be understood in English, but I think it's a little less obvious, because in English the term twilight can be used to talk about the period of time after the sunset, but also before the sunrise. In Japanese, Tasogare is only to talk about dusk, which happens when the sun set in the west. And also the Japanese word for daybreak is Shinonome, and is written literally with east and cloud, for the color that cloud gives when the sun rises in the east. I didn't know the English expression of not having a prayer or saying that you don't have any chance of succeeding, but the Japanese version is also kind of unique, being miyakune, literally not having a pause, to mean that you have no hope. A bit of culture about Japanese comedy style. Here, Lloyd said that he couldn't keep his tsukkomi. This is a term that comes from the comedy style of manzai, which is a two-person act with one person playing the role of an idiot, boke, seeing something stupid, and the other being the tsukkomi, sometimes translated into straight men, which respond to correct what was said. The part that was translated to talk to you later was Shiku Yoro. This is the expression Yoroshiku from Yoroshiku Onegaishimas, but reversed. It's a type of slang where you take a word and change the other you say it. Another really popular one similar to that is saying Paisen instead of Senpai. That's it for this episode. If you like that type of deals and want more of them, you know what to do. I'm also currently making a series similar to that with Chainsaw Man, if it's something that could interest you. But anyway, it's the end for this episode, and I'll see you next week.